the schmo with the pro with the Hall of Famer, 42 years young, the California kid, Uriah Faber, poolside, Houston, Texas, UFC 265. How we doing? Pretty good. Yes, the schmo still hasn't been used to, accustomed to the short hair. Yeah, it's coming back though. I mean, it was much shorter. Uh, can actually comb it at this point. I've had one homemade haircut where it's trimmed around the ears, but... You know, shout out to Andre Feely, who thinks he's my hair coach and always tell me I need to get it cut, but I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, shout out to Touchy Feely. He's got some huge feet, too. You got big feet. Yeah. You know what to say about big feet? Yeah. Big feet. Big hands. Big shoes. And big socks, too? Probably, yeah. 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 We'd assume so. Now, talk to me for a second, man. You got a big fight coming up here for your guy's song, your donk. He's got Casey Kenny. It's the main card here for UFC 265. It seems like Team Alpha Male, your team, has been going back and forth with the MMA lab recently. Yeah, it's been a good little back and forth. You know, they've got some real talent, especially at the lighter weights with with uh, O'Malley and Casey Kenny and Skyler and they got a couple other guys, some of the Arizona State wrestlers have been getting in there a little bit. Um, tough guys all the way around, really dynamic guys. And we had, you know, Song had the had the loss to, to Kyler, and then we've got Hallie Pavia that got that one back. And now we're going Casey Kenny and Song Yadong, so it's going to be a barn burner. That's right, man. And before we started this interview, you got to talk to the schmo for a second. Tell the audience you had a little run in there with your old buddy, Dominic Cruz. You were a little touchy-feely with him, no relation to Andre touchy-feely. What's the dynamic like between you two? Because you guys were both cage side, you know, a couple weeks ago at least for UFC Vegas 32 in the Apex. I like Dom. You know, we like to give each other a little crap when we see each other, but it's all in good fun. Much respect to the man at this point, and, uh, you know... He was making fun of me for wearing sandals and, and the uh, standard Venom sweatpants. And he had like a shirt on with a bunch of skulls with no eyeballs, which I'm not sure what it meant. But, you know, yeah, we're just giving each other some crap. All good to Dom. Dom's the bomb. Dom is the bomb. Now talk to me for a second, man. I just brought up his name, TJ Dillashaw. He got the victory. He came back for the return. But do you think right off the bat in this situation he's deserving of next in line for the title fight for the winner of Sterling and Jan? Why not? I mean, he, he had a huge win against Sanhagen. It could have gone either way, obviously. But uh, he pushed the pace and fought his fight. So I don't see why not. You know, I don't know who else it would be. Who do you think should who else besides him? Well, there's a guy named Rob Font. Where does he fit in this equation? Rob's tough, too. Rob's very tough. I mean, the one thing I would say about about that is, you know, the UFC's a business, and and Rob is making some big big headway and, and doing well. But, um, you know, you've got the storyline with, with TJ and all the drama around it. So that counts in this game, unfortunately. What do you think should be next for a guy like Sugar Sean O'Malley? Obviously, he just faced a guy and a pretty tough guy, Chris Isolas, Chris Moutinho. But do you think maybe for his next fight, a little step up in competition, maybe it's a Frankie Edgar if this thing happens in New York? Or maybe it's Dominic Cruz who we just ran into. Everyone's calling out Dominic Cruz. Man, I'd like to see Dom with that kind of matchup. Frankie also. Sugar Sean, I, I mean, people like to hate because... He's getting a lot of clout, but that dude's legit, man. I mean, the power he has. I, I watched him submit Gomi, not Takanori Gomi, in a, in a submission grappling match. It was impressive. Takanori Gomi is tough, and that wasn't during his layoff. Uh, you know, there's a reason why he has the it factor, and, and I don't think it's a fluke. So any of those matchups make sense for me to, to see that guy be tested. And, and uh, you know, I, I, I would probably lean towards the Dom fight will probably happen but I don't know for sure. Now, let's talk about the Ultimate Fighter 22, a guy that you were up against during that show, Conor McGregor, man. You guys had some great back and forth. Where do you think Conor McGregor stands right now, company-wide, because you're a cerebral guy? Where would you say Conor McGregor stands in the pecking order of the UFC? At the very top, you know? I mean, it, if it makes dollars, it makes sense. And, and, I mean, what a comical and strange interview basically guy's got a severed leg in half and he's <laughs> making all sorts of uh strange comments and whatnot and promoting the next fight really so the ufc at the end of the day if it's going to go down like that 
only thing they could ask for is is that interview afterwards because people are talking about it people are pissed off some people love it uh, memes are all over the place it was it was pretty comical so he's top of the pecking order still i mean anybody in the in the in the sport would would want to fight him and he's a dangerous fight for anybody and a, and a big paycheck for anybody if you were to guess who do you think would be next do you think it's you know the fourth time with poirier or do you think it's nate diaz the trilogy do you think it's somebody else if uriah faber is to guess i would say the 209 you know those guys both have uh have some big clout and in a long history Diaz, everybody's calling out Diaz because he's got all this clout. He has this clout because he has that win over Connor, and they've got their trilogy. Uh, I think as far as skill set wise, that's always an intriguing matchup, and and uh, you know that won't make a lot of sense. And the schmo knows he got that bad power. Forty two years young. You're a father. You got a daughter. You got a son. Everyone teases you about a return. Is this thing likely? You know, I would. I was definitely not planning on the whole shutdown of the entire world and at that time having a baby on the way and, and, a, and a newborn uh i'd fight because i love it it's a it's a good time the entire experience not having a crowd i was definitely not going to fight now that the crowd's back i wouldn't put it past i mean I, i've heard maybe like seven or eight guys that have called me out or asked for the fight some respectfully some under you know, disrespectfully uh cheeto vera Cheeto Vera, yeah, Cheeto Vera. He's he's one of the guys. Uh, that'd be an interesting matchup, you know. It's it's funny the whole thing that happened with him and Song Yudong. He was all bent out of shape after that fight. Backstage, his whole team was ranting and raving. And I said, guy, I said, guys, you can always do it again. And he's like, why don't you fight me? And I go, oh, you don't want to fight Song right in front of Song. You don't want to fight Song again? Oh no no no, I do. Blah, 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 blah. But he hasn't said a word about Song, you know. That would be a good one, though, old Cheeto Vera. I would, I would probably, probably if I was going to compete, I need to get right back into Rocky mode, and it'd take me a couple months. Just dislocated my pinky, unfortunately, in practice, which I don't know how long that's going to take. I can't really make a fist at the point at this point, but um, I'm not opposed to getting in, in a good old fist fight. Fun, you get paid, uh, part of your passion. So don't count the idea out. I'll have a sit down with Sean Shelby uh, and and maybe Dana White and see if they think it's a good idea to, to get back in there. But I'm always game. Can we get a final message for the Uriah Faber fans out there worldwide? Take care of your kids. Best thing I've ever had in my life is, is these little kiddos. So uh, cherish these moments. I spend as much time with those kids as possible. And... Uh, it's a whole new motivation for a positive guy that's always pretty motivated. It's a whole nother animal. He's the pro. I'm the schmo. Poolside. We're out.